countries lockdown starts today new guidelines and rules introduced Health Minister Idris Press Meet discussed regarding relief packages and preventive measures. Ray of hope in some areas, recovery rate increases though COVID-19 cases continue to rise. Panchayat and Rural Development Minister takes steps to strengthen rural economy, speaks about new plans. Meteorological Department awares people about upcoming natural hazards, requests people to take precautions. Good evening viewers, welcome to the Notice News Bulletin. This is Monjui, now with the details. The fourth phase of nationwide lockdown has begun today. Union Home Ministry had yesterday extended the nationwide lockdown for 14 more days till 31st of this month. The fourth phase of lockdown will however witness substantial relaxations than its previous versions. Government has allowed the states and union territories to demarcate red, orange and green zones. The containment zones will be located within the red and orange zones with a small part of the area also demarcated as buffer zone. With directions of extra precaution for the buffer zones, government has directed that no activities except for medical and essential supplies to be allowed in the containment zones. All domestic and international air travel of passengers except for medical or security services shall uh, remain prohibited even in the fourth phase of lockdown. For the ease of passengers, eateries and canteens have been permitted to operate at railway stations, airports and bus depots. Cinema halls, gymnasiums, shopping malls, entertainment parks or any such high gathering places will remain prohibited nationwide. Public gatherings of any kind including political, social and cultural congregations will not be allowed. Assam Minister for Health and Family Welfare Dr. Himanta Bishwar Sharma said the state government would set up quarantine facilities to accommodate one lakh incoming people at a cost of 300 crore rupees. Addressing a press conference in Guwahati on Monday, Dr. Himanta Bishwar Sharma said that under Assam Cares, four lakh people have benefited during the lockdown period. Dr. Sharma said the focus is on better management of quarantine facilities to keep the disease under check. He requested the people stranded outside due to the lockdown not to rush home but to come gradually as it would be cumbersome to accommodate so many people under institutional quarantine. He also said that 20 lakh crore economic package announced by the central government and around 66,000 industrial units under the MSME sector of the state would immensely benefit out of the package. Dr. Sharma said the package has come at a time when ASCB was not able to pay 6,000 crore rupees to the power generating companies for the past two months as the customers did not pay the electricity dues due to the lockdown. The death toll in Assam rose to three as another person died today due to COVID-19 in Guwahati. The total number of infected people in the state rose till 104 since two more people were detected as COVID-19 positive, one in Jorhat and the other in Nogao, presenting a report by correspondent Kamal Bora. The very first day of fourth lockdown in Assam turned into a sad day because one more person died due to COVID-19 in the state. He was Gopinder Chandra Malakar, a cancer patient of 71 year age who came from Mumbai a few days back and was admitted to Guwahati Medical College Hospital as he was detected as COVID-19 positive. But he breathed his last today at around 11.30 and due to which the death toll has rose to three. Apart from that, Yesterday also nine persons were detected as COVID-19 positive in various parts of the state and today also four persons have been detected so far. Uh, two, uh, one person from uh, Noga, one person from Jorhat and two persons from Golaghat and due to which the total number of infected persons has rose to 104. Since this is a very critical time, this is a collective effort we have to put 
to get rid of this disease soon. This is Komal Bora from Guwahati for the Diokong. Health and Family Welfare Ministry said that a total of 36,823 patients have been cured of coronavirus and the recovery rate has reached 38.29 percent. During the last 24 hours, 2,715 patients have recovered and 5,242 fresh cases have been reported taking the total number of cases to 96,169. A total of 157 deaths have been registered in the last 24 hours taking the nationwide toll to 3,029. A total number of 36,823 have recovered till now. In the last 24 hours, 5,242 new COVID cases have come up. India has a total number of 96,169 COVID positive patients. A Shramik special train carrying 1,964 migrant laborers, including 378 children, today left Jironia railway station for Khagaria in Bihar. District Magistrate, the Commissioner of Labor and the Superintendent of Traffic Police flagged off the special train. This was the first Shramik train which left for the state with migrant laborers, while two more such trains are scheduled to evacuate the migrant laborers laborers who are stranded in the state due to lockdown. Speaking to the media, the district magistrate said that the state government has allocated rupees 1.6 crores to book Shramik special train. It was even added that another train will start on 19th May from Bologna and be carrying 1,600 more workers to Bihar and another train will ply from Agartala to Uttar Pradesh on 20th of this month. <coughs> The Arunachal Pradesh State Transport starts plying up bus buses today. The bus services is available for inter-districts only and only 50% buses are on road as per guidelines. General Manager of Arunachal Pradesh State Transport Abu Tayang says that 17 buses left from Itanagar today for different destinations in the state. Total 700 tickets were booked on the first day. इस ये लॉकडाउन के पीरियड में जब पीपल आर फेसिंग डिफिकल्टी द रेट्स ते हुए चार्जिंग वर एक्सोर्बिटेंट सो स्टेट गवर्नमेंट डिसाइडेड दैट वी शुड स्टेप इन अगेन एंड प्रोवाइड अ चीपर एंड रिलायबल the COVID situation in Tripura has improved as there has been no COVID positive cases in the last 24 hours. A total of 540 samples have been tested for COVID-19 and no positive cases are there till now. On the other hand, 85 COVID patients, mostly BSF Jovans and their families, have cured and have been discharged from the hospital. Despite improvement in the COVID situation, the Tripura state government has been giving importance on maximum COVID tests. A three member team is all set to visit Kamalpur today as a part of its investigation to find the root cause of COVID-19 outbreak in BSF Battalion Headquarters at Jawahar Nagar in Dhalai District. With five new cases taking the state's COVID-19 tally to seven, the All Manipur Working Journalist Union has reiterated that all reporters' correspondents will not be participating in any press meet called by any individual organization for safety reasons. An emergency joint meeting of the All Manipur Working Journalist Union and Editors Guild Manipur held on Sunday at Press Club Imphal has decided to enforce the resolutions they adopted on March 22 earlier regarding COVID-19. All reporters' correspondents are advised against participating in press meet called by any individual or organization. They have been advised against participating in any media tour or pickup program for the time being. All organizations and individuals wishing to hold press meet should send their materials including press meet, statement and video clips via mail or WhatsApp to the media houses. All government press communication 
applications may be sent to the Directorate of Information and Public Relations DIPR or via the above mentioned WhatsApp number and email. In a press meet at Janata Bhavan in this poor panchayat and rural development minister Naba Kumar Dole spoke regarding various steps taken to strengthen rural economy. The native laborers of Assam who will be migrating back to their hometowns will be benefited and will get employment under MG and Rega scheme which will be offered by central government. The laborers will receive training along with job cards within 7 days. Under the scheme their daily wage will increase by 213 rupees. The five-year tenure of the Tripura Tribal Areas Autonomous District Council TTAADC came to an end on Sunday. The development had been also described as the end of left's presence in any largely elected institute in the state after the party faced consecutive setbacks in 2018 assembly elections and the Lok Sabha polls of 2019. Though due to the lockdown, there would be no elections to the council and the power had been shifted to the hands of a governor, nominated administrator, the political movements pertaining to the issue had already started with the opposition parties demanding polls, albeit in a mild voice. The ADC is an elected constitutional body. It has its own decorum uh, that has to be maintained. The suggestion of the Congress party will be to constitute an all-party committee to look after the council, TPCC President Pisus Bishwas said. The second general body meeting of Manipur Rural Livelihood Mission was held today. The general body meeting was chaired by Chief Minister Anbarin Singh. Commenting on about the said meeting, Chief Minister Anbaran Singh said, uplifting the rural economy and improving the livelihood issues of the rural areas can only give a lasting impact in overall economy of the state. The second general body meeting of Manipur Rural Livelihood Mission was discussed on the activities and achievements and the AAP for financial year 2020-21. Today evening, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be chairing a high-level meeting to review preparedness in wake of Amphan cyclone. The meeting will be attended by senior officials of Home Ministry and National Disaster Management. It is likely to intensify further into a super cyclonic storm during the next six hours. It will move nearly north for some time and then northeastwards across Bay of Bengal and cross West Bengal Bangladesh coast. The maximum speed of the wind will be 155 to 165 km per hour, gusting to 185 km per hour. Coastal Odisha to likely experience moderate rainfall accompanied by heavy rainfall at isolated places from today evening. Fishermen have been advised not to venture near Bay of Bengal and other coastlines. According to predictions by Meteorological Department, a cyclone named Amphun will hit northeastern parts of India including coastal areas of West Bengal and Odisha. The speed of the cyclone will be at its highest on 20 and 21st of May. Director of Assam Meteorological Department predicted that on these two days, Assam and Meghalaya might suffer heavy rain and thunderstorm. Central parts of South Bay of Bengal के पास ये स्थित है और अगर लैटिट्यूड की बात करें तो वो 13.3 डिग्री नॉर्थ है और लॉन्गिट्यूड है 86.3 डिग्री ईस्ट और ये उड़ीसा के पारादीप के दक्षिण में करीब 780 किलोमीटर से दूर है और दीघा से करीब साउथ साउथ वेस्ट की दिशा में 930 किलोमीटर दूर है और बांग्लादेश में खेपू पारा एक जगह है उससे साउथ साउथ वेस्ट की दिशा में 1050 किलोमीटर की दूरी पर करीब करीब ये स्थित है और ऐसी उम्मीद की जा रही है कि इट विल इंटेंसिफाई इनटू अ सुपर साइक्लोनिक स्टॉर्म एंड इट इज वेरी लाइकली टू दैट ब्रिंग्स अस टू द एंड ऑफ दिस इवनिंग्स बुलेटिन थैंक यू फॉर ट्यूनिंग इन नमस्कार